Welcome to Brief Crypto. We review the talk and action around crypto and sum it up. Today is Wednesday, June 8th. Today's video is for entertainment only. Looking at the markets on CryptoBubbles.com. Looking at the daily top 100 tokens. Red day for cryptocurrency. We have ApeCoin down 6.3. Gala Games down 9.3. Decentraland Mana down 3.8. Curve down 5.8. Thorchain down 4.9. Cosmos down 3.3. Solana down 4.6, Avalanche down 5.3, Bitcoin down 3.9, the Sandbox down 3.3, XRP down 2.8, Kusama down 4.8, Red Day a couple tokens up, Theta Networks is up 4.7%, Algorand's up 1.2, FTT's up 3.1, Cardano's up 1.3. So a few tokens up, but a red day for cryptocurrency. Today we're going to be looking at this Bitcoin cycle low box. A lot of the data points to a low for Bitcoin and having cycle three within this box. And so we're going to look at the data that points towards that. One being the 200 week simple moving average. The low for Bitcoin has corresponded with the 200 week simple average very close to it on in having cycle one and in having cycle two. We're currently at 22,300. On the 200 week simple moving average, it's going up 0.7% per week currently and over 23 weeks, that'll get us right up to this 26,000, the top of the box. The yellow line is the having two fractal, so it's the peak to low having two fractal, and it brings us down to 24,000 inside this box. 15% below the 200 week moving average. We hit that in Having one and having two is approximately 2% and having one, we're approximately 15% below the 200 week simple moving average. So if we got to 15% below, that'd be 22,000 for a low in Bitcoin. And then looking for from a now to low, having two fractal, that brings us down to 20,000. So this box in terms of price is between 20,000 and 26,000 with that data. Currently we're 30 weeks down from the peak in this green candle that's at 30,231 for Bitcoin, up 1.15% for the week. In having two, we were at 60% down from the peak and in having one, we were at 50%. So relatively close to the same for peak to present in terms of percent down. So all of that data leads us into this box that between November 7th, the week of November 7th, 2022, and the week of November 12th, 2022, we'd see a having three low for Bitcoin, somewhere between 20,000 and 26,000. Another piece of data is an, a possible low of 10,500, is 55% below the 200 week simple moving average. And having one, we had, we, it took 58 weeks to go from peak to low. We are down 86%. Having two took 52 weeks and we were down 84. The average of those two is 55% um, over uh, 55 weeks or 85%, excuse me, 85% over 55 weeks. But that would put us 55% below the 200 week simple moving average. The maximum we've been below is in having one. 15%. So this is possible It's 10,500 for a low in Bitcoin, but we don't think it is probable based on all this other data leading, leading us into this box between 20,000 and 26,000 early November to mid December of this year. So what do you think? Comment below. Looking at the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ has been cons consolidating over 33 days. Looking at the daily, it's down today. 0.76%, it's at 12,615, but it's been consolidating between 11,700 and 12,900 for 33 days. And Bitcoin most closely follows the NASDAQ of the three indices, the S&P 500, the Dow, and NASDAQ. So Bitcoin, you can see 29 days of consolidation, so similar to what we've been seeing with the NASDAQ. Uh, range pretty tight, 28,000 to 32,000 roughly for the consolidation, 29 days in Ethereum. Same thing, 27 days between 1,700 and 2,150 roughly. Also a little bit of this uh, descending pattern within that cons consolidation for Ethereum. And news related to Ethereum on CryptoPotato.com, Ethereum's oldest test net 
is now using a proof of stake consensus mechanism to generate blocks rather than mining. Ropestein allows for development and testing before changes are implemented on the Ethereum mainnet. The merge will be the most significant upgrade ever undergone by Ethereum. In further news on CryptoNewsFlash.com and an open letter to the U.S. Congress, human rights activists from 20 different countries have voiced their support for a responsible crypto policy. These activists have praised Bitcoin and Stablecoin, calling them essential tools to support democracy and freedom for millions of people. In further news on CryptoNews.com, blockchain games is the category within crypto that has resisted the industry downturn the most. With activity still being up 197% year over year, DAP Radar's industry report for May shows. Further news on Ethereum on Fimbold.com, Ethereum's total value locked in DeFi, decentralized finance, shrank 35% in May, while Tron's rose 30 or 47 percent looking at that on defilama.com this is ethereum so you can see ethereum since may 1 on may 1 it was 109.06 billion to now we're at 68.97 billion so big drop from first of may to now in total value lock locked on the ethereum chain the top five tokens for total value locked in the Ethereum chain are MakerDAO, Curve, Lido, Aave, and Uniswap. So looking at Tron from May 1, May 1 it was at 4 billion and now it's at 6.29 billion. So nice rise in total value locked on Tron. Top five tokens for to in terms of total value locked for Tron are Just Lend, Just Stables, SunSwap, Sun.io, and Social Swap. Looking at total cryptocurrency market cap for the day, it's up 0.4% to 1.28 trillion. So pretty flat, actually. Not even sure why that shows up as 0.4%, but uh, it's obviously just bigger uh, factors, uh, significant figures showing that it's up 0.4%. So it's at 1.28 trillion for the day, 24 hour volumes at 93 billion. It's up 19.2%, but still pretty normal. Uh, this was quite light, 78, so it's up to more normal volume. Bitcoin dominance went up 0.1% to 46%, and ETH dominance is flat at 17.3%. So tell us what you think about Bitcoin cycle, the low box that we looked at earlier. I'm uh, going to go back to that real quick, this Bitcoin low box. Tell us what you think in the comments below, wh whether you think this low box uh, looks reasonable in terms of the data, whether you think it's going somewhere else, whether you think we're going lower, maybe we're not going to capitulate as much because of the premature capitulation of Luna. So tell us what you think in the comments below. Thank you for joining today's Brief Crypto. If you like today's video, please follow us. Today's video is for entertainment only. We are not financial advisors. You should always do your own investment research. Thank you.